Hi guys, yeah, we had a little bit of a break in that humidity today. Not sure if you were able to feel that, but that's going to continue for the next day or two. I'm not saying it's a refreshing air mass, but just not that tropical stuff that we've become accustomed to. Hey, it's summer after all. And I think that this temperature trend map kind of tells the story here. Temperatures around the 80 degree mark, give or take a degree or two in either direction for tomorrow, for Thursday. Friday is that transition day. I think we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms as a series of fronts come through. And that's going to set the stage for some hotter and more humid weather starting this weekend and lasting right through the middle of next week with a strong stretch of days in the 90s. This would make heat wave number three, at least away from the beaches. But even at the shoreline, we are talking about temperatures that could flirt with the 90 degree mark. So I'm pretty sure that the beaches are going to be packed at a pretty early time. Check this out in Ellington earlier today. It's always amazing to me and the wonder of weather never ceases to amaze how warm it was today, how humid. And you couldn't even imagine the fact that ice could be falling from the sky, but these thunderstorms were going so high up in the atmosphere that they're actually reaching a temperature that's below freezing. This photo after this all moved out from Jason, this is in Cromwell. If you can see it, there's a little faint rainbow there. So really appreciate you guys sharing your photos with us. Satellite and radar showing that little disturbance that triggered those hit or miss storms today. You can actually see a little bit of spin right here as it continues to pull out. But as we head through the day tomorrow, I do think with an easterly component to the wind, uh, we're going to be in and out of the clouds as we head through the day tomorrow. So I don't think it'll be as bright as we were outside today. That being said, we don't have to deal with those hit or miss storms either. 72 degrees in Hartford, right around the 70 degree mark for the New Haven area. Partly cloudy skies tonight with low temperatures in the 60s. Heading into the day tomorrow, we're talking about a pretty comfy one. It's a mix of sun and clouds, not too humid out there. High temperatures in the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees. And we'll see a similar scenario heading into your Thursday, I should say, with highs in the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees. And again, we'll see that blend of clouds and some sunshine. I did want to show you on Friday that series of fronts that comes through. There's a chance for some showers in the morning. There might be a break in the action, then another opportunity for showers and storms as we head through the afternoon. And then we start to heat things up. Here we are Saturday around 90 degrees, low 90s on Sunday. Both of those days look dry, but as we head back Back to work next week. I do think you'll see those typical, you know, hot, humid, scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head through the afternoon, Monday and Tuesday. Just think Florida weather here at home. Here's your shoreline seven day, upper 70s on Friday. Here we go at the beaches, 90 degrees for a high temperature on Sunday. We'll be close to 90 as well on Monday, but we're not forecasting a heat wave at the shoreline right now. Dan Amaranti will have an update on your forecast tomorrow morning on the Fox 61 Morning News.